All right, so this is the first in a number of videos that will teach you um, the basic general things you need to know using Fusion 360 about going ahead and drawing this entire My First Car. As you can see here on the screen, I'm showing you the one that I've already drawn up, and we're going to work through the process so you'll end up with something that looks just like that. Now, one of the very first steps, of course, when we're using Fusion 360 is to open up and begin a new design. So I'm just going to click on the File menu up here and start a new design. And you can see that I'm straight into my workspace there. And let's just have a quick look at this first video step. Um, this video is going to be all about just doing the basic side pod extrusion, if you will, um, for the My First Car. So it's the very first part of the body we're working on here. This uh, My First Car PDF is available to you. Um, and you can see that we're starting here at the origin point, working out from there to get this general shape that is shown here, and you can see all the smaller dimensions up the top here. To start with, one thing that's really um, necessary to consider here is that the base of this um, pod, the shape here, um, is 29 millimeters below the origin point in the sketch. So it's really important that we remember that. So let's head into Fusion 360 and start um, drawing up this particular shape here. And at first, I'm not going to really worry about doing dimensions. It's just going to be about starting off that shape. So I'm going to create a new sketch, just like that. And I'm going to start drawing in some lines. And remembering with the line tool that if I click and hold um, between two points, and uh, it hasn't done it for me there, I'll just undo that and I'll restart that again for you. So starting again, I'll just start off with the two lines, top and bottom. And I'm not worrying about the length of these at this point. I'm just going with two parallel lines. So it doesn't really matter how long they are or where they are at this point now. We're just getting the two parallel lines. Now to add the two uh, curved arcs on each end, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and hold and pull out from that initial point. Just hitting the L key every time I need a new line. And the reason I'm doing this is as I go and I do this, it's adding in the tangent constraints between these curved lines and my straight lines, which are really important in this drawing. I'll just pan along a little bit so we can see some more of the drawing that we're doing. Uh, back to the line tool, just to put in the next two. And see there it gave me a little line to help me get it in line with the center point up here as well. And final curved line here. There we go. So I've got the general shape. Don't have any dimensions on it, but I've got the general shape of that pot. Now let's have a look at some of those dimensions. So we mentioned that that bottom line needed to be 29 millimeters from the point of origin, um, which is up in the top, top left of my drawing. And I've got 21 millimeters between the top and the bottom of this of this part of the car here. So let's go ahead, ahead and add in those dimensions. So hitting the D key on my keyboard to get the dimension tool. I'll start with the bottom line here up to the origin point. And I'll just change that to 29 millimeters. There we go. And the next one I'll do is the 21 between these two here. You can see I'm just bringing it out from the end so that all my dimensions are nicely spaced out. I can see everything easily. The next one I can see is that um, this back, these back curves here are 80 millimeters um, from the two straight areas. Um, and overall, the entire thing's 200 millimeters long. So that's shown just there as well. I think what I'll do next actually is adding that 200 millimeter one. So dimension tool, clicking both ends, and adding in that dimension, 200. There we go. Um, and I reckon, having a look back at the initial drawing there, we'll go ahead and we'll add in that 75 next for these two straight lines here. So back to Fusion there. I'm still in my dimension tool, so I can make that really easy for me. Just click between those points and go with 75. And do the same up on this top one here. 75. And at this point you can see it's kind of knocked things off to the end to the left of the drawing here, past the origin point, which isn't really ideal. We do want things to line up with that. So we're going to add in what's called a constraint now. Now your drawing may do this, it may not. If it does, this is what you need to do to get it um, straight up and down with that origin point. So I'm going to select the origin point. I'm going to select the end of my pod there. Right click I'm going to use the horizontal vertical constraint, and that vertically constrains those points together. 
Now I'm going to use this constraint as well between my two horizontal lines here. So between these points also. And horizontal vertical, there we go. Now the reason I've done that is that it actually gives me those two 75 millimeter long lines exist in exactly the same position in the drawing now, which makes things a bit easier later on. So let's have a look back, look back at our dimensions. We've got 80 millimeters here and 45 at the front here. So let's add those ones in as well. So back to my dimension tool, between that point there and that one there, and we want 80 millimeters. There we go, and it was 45 at the front, so I'll add that one in as well. And that one's already there for me, beauty, don't need to add it. So what it's come up with and said now is adding this dimension will over constrain the sketch. Choose OK to create a driven dimension. Now driven dimensions don't actually alter our sketch at all, therefore we don't need them, so I'm just going to hit cancel. So I know that everything else is accurate and I don't actually need that in there. The very last thing I want to check on in this sketch is that my centre line here that goes right through this side, this pod of the car, is uh, both points are horizontal with each other, so on the same line as each other, um, as well as being in the middle between the top and the bottom line here. So firstly I'm just going to exit my dimension tool. I'm going to select this end point here and this one down here. I'm going to right click and horizontal vertical them, so they're now fixed to each other. And the very last thing I want to do is make sure they're in the middle, so I'll just pick one of them. And I'm going to need my dimension tool now. So I'm dimensioning it from the top line to the middle there. And I'll need it to be 10.5 millimeters. All right, and now everything is all lined up. It's fully constrained. As you can see, we've got that orange area showing that we've got that closed loop right the way around, which means we can extrude this item now. And having a look back at the uh, page here, it's extruded from the XY plane to a width of 32.5 millimeters. Now the XY plane, don't worry too much about that. We just need to extrude it by 32.5 millimeters. So clicking on the extrude tool, clicking on that shape, and I'm going to pull it out. And I can do this all the way out to 35. Makes it really easy for me, just like that. I'll just zoom out there and get it in a better position for us. There we go. The other way I could do this exit the pen tool, is up in the extrude toolbox here, I can choose which direction I want to go through, you know, if I want to go out one side, two side, etc, the distance I need to go, and I can actually type that in as well. Alright, so extruding that out, 235 millimeters, just as the page says there, sorry, 32.5, better change that. Good thing I had a look. So 32... 0.5. And click OK, and there we go. That's the first part of your My First Car. Thanks for watching.